Hey everybody, Captain V from All Pro, and I'm excited to talk about some new products we brought to market this summer. One of the products is our jigs. We brought three new jigs to market this summer, and we've been getting a few questions from those who've been buying them or those who are just inquiring about them and how to use them. So I thought I'd shoot this video to go over them. The first jig that we brought to market is called the All Pro SP jig. The SP basically stands for slow pitch. Um, what is a slow pitch jig? I'm making it kind of real simple. A slow pitch jig is a, is a process where you're generally dropping a jig, a lure, down through the water columns, you're pulling it up and you're fluttering it down. You're pulling it up, you're fluttering it down. Here in the Northeast, where we're fishing for like sea bass, where we're jigging cod, where we're jigging porgies, um, where we're jigging uh, even striped bass that are down towards the bottom, um, we're keeping them lower in the water column. Then you have a thing that's called kind of speed jigging. Some people kind of, you know, modify and call it squidding, where they drop it down to a water column, they reel it basically up as fast as you can and, and squid it on up. And those are for your fish, like your, your striped bass, your bluefish, your tuner, the actionary fish is where they will respond with action. They'll see it coming up and boom, that they'll, they'll hit that. Um, the SP, the slow pitch, these are the jigs that you bring on the bottom and you kind of want to replicate, you kind of want to portray an injured fish, something that that is startled, something that's slow, something that's an easy dinner, a fast food meal. So the SP jig is a jig that we created. It's one of our lighter jigs. So this means these can be fished in 15 to about maybe 70 feet of water. When you start getting into that deeper water, the thing you gotta be concerned, upon, uh, concerned about is your drift, is the movement and the speed of your boat. Because you really don't want these scoping out unless you're actually gonna fluke with these. Now a lot of people haven't fluke, uh, haven't jigged for fluke, but you can and it's pretty successful and it's usually the larger fish will hit these. That goes for basically all your species. When you're jigging these jigs, like for sea bass, you usually get the knuckleheads. Uh, when you're using clam on a hook, it's kind of just a feeding frenzy. You get every little critter and creature out there and everything eats clam and they all come to eat and actually you're pulling up double headers of fish like this big. With jigs, they give it uh, an action as if it's an injured prey and though that's when the big fish seize upon it and they jump on it. They rush to the front of the line and they push their way through and they get on to the jigs. So what's interesting or special about the SPG is the way that they're made. These here have a keel in the front of them and they're rounded in the back. I want to pull out one that's a little bit on the larger side so I can kind of show you this one here. So, they come in three colors, these jigs. They come in a silver glow, it glows and it's silver, I'll show it to you in a moment. And they also come in a pink and a blue. This is the jig. You can see we call this a keel. That's on one side. On the other side, they're rounded. You can kind of see how we made these rounded. What that does, it allows it to uh, dip and move and kind of look like an injured fish or a fish that's struggling. They're really, really good on the drop down. The thing about all of our jigs, you're gonna see that these are different than other jigs that you may buy in the market. You're like, oh, I seen this color before, or I seen this shape before. No, not all jigs are the same. Listen, everybody gets copied today. Everything's a knockoff today, but it's the process and the quality. And we actually paint uh, these. Uh, a lot of uh, companies will just foil them. Some um, will just do one side of the jig. We actually paint and foil. It's a combination of these jigs. They're really good. They hold up time after time after time after time again, even with your toothy fish. Uh, they'll hold up. 
So these come in your, we call it kind of blue sardine. They come in a pink and they come in a, in a silver glow. The body of these glow. Again, all of ours are done on both sides. They're all like completed jigs. The second, oh, the other thing too about these jigs is that the eyes with the AP in it for All Pro all glow as well. So even though this one, the body doesn't glow, the eyes do glow on these. So we like these in shallow water and we like them for mostly your bottom feeding fish. Then we have a jig called the Flutter Bait Jig. We call this the Flutter Bait Jig because this thing literally is like uncontrollable. It goes down, it swoops, it flips, it does it all. Um, it's made with a keel, but we shave the, ta the tail end of that keel. And here's one that's not in the package and you may be able to see it. So here's the keel. Then you can see that we shave this down here. And what we do with that, and what that does, is that it allows it to just be totally erratic in the water. Out of all the jigs that we produce, this one jig here, which is called the flutter bait jig, this one here uh, provides the most action. And like all the jigs, we always uh, do the back as well. And this one here, this is the rainbow uh, color. And on the back, we made it a glow in the dock with silver and glow stripes. This one here we painted and it's painted with like a, a, a pinkish sparkle and a little bit of a glow on the head here. Again, you see how this one it has the keel and it's shaved and then the back of this, unlike the SP jig, the flood jig is flat. Again, what's nice about these is that you can also use them as a cast and retrieval uh, lure, like a cast master or a Hopkins. You could literally put a, a single hook tube on these, cast and retrieve them, and you'll see the action of these. Absolutely amazing. They're great to fish over shoals. You use the lighter ones. They come in two and three quarter ounces, four and a quarter ounces, and about six and a half ounces in size. Again, they come in your uh, glow and silver. They come in your rainbow with a glow background. They come in a pink with kind of a glowish head. And again, the back is also painted pink. And they come with a, uh, a blue. And the back is also painted blue. And again, we do a little glow up in here. The third jig that we have introduced this year is called our Fishtastic jig. The Fishtastic jig is the only jig that we sell with hooks. And I'll explain that in a moment. But the Fishtastic jig literally looks like a fish. And these here have a curvature towards the tail end here. These here will go down with a wiggle wavy pattern and you could um, squid them or uh, speed jig them up through the water column and they'll give you a movement like a wiggle up through the column. So these here are best to be used when you're fishing off the bottom, and if you have the intention to fishing through a water column. These are really good for that. They come in three sizes as well. They come in a uh, two and three quarter ounce size, a four and a quarter, and a six and a quarter inch size. This here is your six and a quarter inch size. I'll show you that one. And this one here is your four and a quarter inch size. The reason why these come with double assist hooks, because we found that these are the most efficient hooks for this type of jig. 
People may want to use single hooks on these. I've even seen some people put treble hooks on these. Um, we always recommend, and we fish it with double assist hooks, which you could purchase from us that we have. Um, these here, a single hook isn't really effective, uh, and we don't recommend a treble hook with these. So we give you uh, double assist hooks on here. And our double assist hooks, are these are three O's, but they're a large three O. And they're made with a Kevlar material that's 250 pound strength. We also give you a solid ring and the split ring. When you're fishing these or any of these with a, a double assist hook, there's two ways to fish them. You can fish them with hooks on top or fish them with hooks on bottom. Actually, all I do is turn it around. So you can either fish it like this or you fish it like this. If you're gonna fish it with hooks on top, you wanna connect your line, your speed clip or your line to the solid ring that attaches to the hook. The reason for this is that if for any reason um, your uh, jig gets hooked up uh, and the split ring breaks off, you'll still have the fish on your solid ring hook. Be honest with you, it's never happened to me. I don't even know anyone it's actually happened to, but that's the reason why if you see people connecting to that solid ring, that's the reason why they're doing it. The other reason why you want to connect with the line up on top is because if you're fishing with the line connected on top, you will not foul the lure up. So what I mean by fouling the lure up is that you have a line here and the hooks won't get tangled on the line and foul up the action of the lure. If you fish it with the hooks down, the lines up here, because of the movement of these, sometimes you'll grab a um, the line, especially if you're using you know a monofilament or or a fluorocarbon, which uh, is very common today on a leader. Uh, it will grab it because this will go up, that will kind of, the line will still float down, lag behind, then this drops back down and it grabs the line and it fouls it up. So that's why you'll see a lot of people will fish them up on top. However, with that being said, I mostly fish all of my jigs with hooks on the bottom. And I do that because the majority of fish that I fish for, your sea bass, your porgies, uh, your cod, your ling, stuff like that, they attack from the bottom. And I fish a sandy bottom. There's not a lot of debris. I'm not overly concerned about fishing them. Even the wrecks that we have here, the reefs, a lot of them are covered with sand. Um, so I don't get hooked up that much. And getting them out is much easier because they're on a uh, the Kevlar material where you can pull the line this way or this way. And basically, you can twist it out. I don't lose that many of them. Yes, every once in a while, I will foul up. But to me, i rather get my, my, um, my bait down in here and balance it this way and have that fish come up and bite them. Our double cyst hooks have a glow in the dark flash on them. Uh, so to me, that's another uh, um, attractive uh, part of the lure. It's part of the lure and the fish, you'll see a lot of times they'll come up and they are hooked twice. Also, you have these hooks, they're always swinging. You'll see how they're facing in to one another. So it's kind of like, like a, a clamp when they bite. Uh, you'll see a lot of times you'll hook them on in their gill plate uh, if they even come close to it. Um, or you'll, you'll hook them up on their head. So um, that's the purpose of, of these. We sell them, we generally sell about 80% of our hooks are the 3.0 style with the Kevlar. I'd recommend that for basically everything. Even your tuna fish, we use it. The, the Kevlar is 250 pound uh, strength. Um, not going anywhere. These hooks are absolutely razor sharp. And again, we include the uh, split ring that goes onto your jig and the solid ring that would be connected to your line if you're going to fish it in that method. Another product that I want to show you and bring to your attention are our Pro Teasers. These Pro Teasers are red hot. And they're red hot because of a couple of reasons. One is the price. 
they're being sold anywhere from $6.99 to $9.99, depending on the shop that you're getting them at. Uh, at allprotacklebox.com, we have them for $7.99. They come with four in a package. What's really nice about these and what makes these an absolute bargain is the quality of them. We use real deer hair, nothing synthetic here in the deer hair. Then we use Crystal Flash. The Crystal Flash is actually lighter than the deer hair, so it will not only illuminate and kind of get out, it will kind of flare up a little bit. We <clears throat> use a resin head. All our heads are resin. It's not just wrapped in thread. We actually wrap them in thread and then put resin over it and include 3D eyes on these babies. I mean, they are just hot. They're stunning. They look great and they are affordable. The other thing that we do, we go one step beyond because that's what All Pro does. When we look to create something, when we look to do something, we always look to make something better. And we use a 4.0 bait holder hook because we know presentation means something. So if you're going to put a piece of squid on here, uh, you want your squid to kind of be flat. You don't want to, you know, uh, double up uh, around the, the um, <clears throat> round portion of the hook. Uh, you put a spearing on here, you don't want the spearing to look like uh, like a slipper or a ballet dancer or someone doing some sort of aerobic move, right? You want your squid, I um, mean, your spearing straight and level and out there. And by using a bait holder hook, you have a better chance of that spearing staying on properly. And you never want to see your soft plastics be bit and kind of spun around. So again, even with soft plastics, that bait holder hook is going to help you. These come in every imaginable color uh, that is uh, has been effective in these waters and, and along the uh, uh, East Coast. They come in your white, your red and white. Love the red and white. It's a throwback color. It works. Uh, your hot pink, your nuclear chicken, your fire tiger, and your chartreuse. So you have a plenty of assortment. These are really super. Get them. Throw them in your tackle boxes. Four in a bag. I mean, it's a bargain. Just every influencer, YouTube influencer, you go, you ask them. Everyone uses teasers. How do you use it? Your chicken rig or your high-low rig, you know? You put this up on top. You put your bucktail or your jig on the bottom. Hey, you're fishing for sea bass. You want to have a blast? You put your jig on the bottom. You come up about 12 inches. You put a loop on it. And you uh, put a teaser up on top. You jig that way and hold on. It's crazy. You'll have a great time doing that. The last product I want to go over with you, it's been the hit of the summer for us, real excited about it, is the All Pro X Pro Grub. What's really super about this six inch grub, and it also comes in three inch, is that it does not break easily. You could stretch it, you could bang it with a fork, you know, can't punch holes through it very easily at all. Bluefish will come bite it, you won't lose tail. So when you're fishing these, you know that when you're down there, you have the right presentation, that you still got your tail. They are scented. This isn't smell TV, so you don't smell it, but trust me or trust, I speak to anyone who has these. These stink. And um, they're made with the scent in them. So you could actually leave this in the water for like 30 days, pull it out, still smell it, and the scent is still there. They are extra soft and have bite ribs on them. So when a fish comes and they bite onto it, it doesn't feel like a foreign substance in their mouth. It feels like they're biting into flesh, into a body. They hold on or they take that second hit or they swallow it. Gives you that extra second or so to set the hook. They all have rattles in them. We have a rattle port here in the back and they all rattle and they glow. And when I say glow, we'll put up an image here. It glows. These come in all your popular colors, your chartreuse and white, your pink shine color, your nuclear chicken, we call it watermelon color, your fire tiger, I got some people calling them like salmon something, but they're fire tiger. Um, and also, as I mentioned, the three inch size. Three inch size is great to put on your teaser as well, or we fish them with the six inch. You know, big bait, big fish, so we'll do that. Hey, this is Captain V. You have any question at all, 
You find me on Facebook at allprofishingchars.com or Vincent Cat on Facebook or All Pro Tackle Box on Facebook. You can email me, Vince at allprocharters.com and I will be more than happy to reply to you personally right back to you. Anyone who knows me knows that I respond to every single email, every single instant message, uh, every you know thing that's marked on Facebook or Instagram, uh, I'll be there. I am happy to bring these products to you. Give me feedback and send us photos of your catch because we love that stuff. This is Captain V from All Pro. I'm out of here.